Hi guys, Dinner Lady here. Right, um, just on my lunch, I thought I'd start this recipe off now. So what I'm going to be making today is some homemade puff pastry. Um, a lot of people think it's difficult. It is a bit time consuming, but while it's in the fridge, all you have to do is pot them about and do whatever it is that you want to do. So come down and I'll show you the ingredients, hardly any. Right, so we have plain flour. And I need 300 grams of that. That's 300 grams of plain flour. I have a full block. It's 250 grams of unsalted butter. I have taken some out because I want some to come up to room temperature. And I've had some in the fridge um, just so that it keeps nice and cool. I have 125 grams of cold water. And I need about a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. So come on over and we'll get going. Right guys, so I've weighed out 300 grams of plain flour and I've cut up my butter and I did forget about the salt and I actually said a quarter of a teaspoon of lemon juice, it's not, it's a teaspoon. So what I'll do is I'll bring you around and we'll get going. Right, so I'm just going to add the salt into there. a little bit and then add in the butter now this is 50 grams out of the 250 grams worth of flour and we're just going to rub it in as if you would make an ordinary pastry so I'm just going to do that now just put it between your, your fingers these are hard because it just came out of the fridge but if you just keep going with it that's it starting to break down a little bit it'll soon do that with the warmth of your hands anyway I've seen a few people online going on about how difficult it is to make pastry, but it's not. I mean, it does need a lot of resting. Um, but, like I say, when it's in the fridge, there's not a lot for you to do. Oh, just keep going with this till it's all incorporated in the flour. I'm just going to quickly wipe my hand. Right, come back to you when it's all done. Right, so I've rubbed that all in, so that's all into the flour there now, doesn't look a lot of difference because there is no, there's not a lot of butter in there, and I'm going to get a teaspoon of lemon juice, now if you're wondering what the lemon juice is for, that is, helps once it's in the oven, it does help it to, um, the layers to spread out and that's how you get your lovely puff pastry. And just add your water. There we go. A bit more. Like I said before, all flowers are different. Right, I'm going to get my hand in now. Okay. Yeah, there's enough water in there. You can feel it once you actually get your hands in. Just get that last of that in. Now I am going to be doing a recipe with this once it's done. But I just thought I'd go through the process of doing the puff pastry first. Right. I could have done this in the food processor, same as I do the other pastry, but to be honest, because there's not a lot of butter to to put into the the flour, I didn't really think it was worth it. Right, just gonna get that out onto the bench. Bring that together, get this stuff off my hands. Might sometimes look like it's not gonna come together, but it will. Just give it a few little needs. The lemon juice also helps the gluten in the flour as well. Right, and exactly as with normal pastry, this now needs to go into the fridge. 
to chill for about half an hour. So we'll do that and then I'll come back to you. Right, so the next part of the recipe is the rest of the butter. And it's still pretty hard, it's been out of the fridge for about an hour, but it's not as warm today as what it has been. So just put that in there and that over the top and then just, just gonna flatten this out. about thick enough. You see now that's flattened out and again this will go into the fridge for the same time as the pastry. That's the hard work done. The rest of it is just rolling. So when we need to put this together and do the first roll I'll bring you back. Right so this has been in the fridge for about I'd say about 40 minutes. I'm just gonna um a bit of flour on it. Try and keep it to a certain shape. So we'll just roll it out. It's a bit soft. It's like I see, it hasn't got a lot of butter in. We'll just um, there we go. Just keeping an eye on the size of me, me butter. Right, so got that straightened it up a little bit. Right, we'll have me butter that's been in the fridge now. That is still rock hot. So all we do with this is take that off the greaseproof paper and put that in there. Let me fold this over and try and keep it. This will be hard, don't worry about it. It will spread out. It's starting to move now. bit more flour on the top. Keep it into a sort of rectangle. There we go. Now this is going to be my first fold. I'm going to do four of these all together. You can see the butter coming through. Turn it over, make sure that doesn't stick. A little bit more flour. Now. So what we do is, is we fold a third in and fold that third over and then what we do is, just use the grease cook paper and we'll pop that in there, wrap it up and give it another 20 minutes in the fridge. Right, so that's been in the fridge for a little while now. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to roll it again, 
and it'll be hard because it, it has cooled right down in the fridge. It'll get stronger every time you do this. Should I have the other one? I think I'll get that one out for the next turn. As you can see, they're all a little bits of butter in there. Just slightly. There we go. So again, one third, one third, back over like that, back into the paper, back into the fridge for another 20 minutes. Like I say, it might be a little bit time consuming but it's no hard work. Right, that's been another 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna do it again. Make sure I've got some flour there. Oh, I'm gonna get the other moving pin. This is long, that'll be easier now. There we go. It again because it's been in the fridge it's gone hard so at first it is a little bit tricky to uh, roll which should soon see that it starts to get easier there we go Again, the third, the third, and then back in the fridge. One more time, <clears throat> and then after another rest, it'll be ready to use. Right, so that was the last fold. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it one quick. One more fold, never hurts. Got so many different layers in there now. And then it's ready to use and we'll get on with today's recipe. I'm just gonna, there we go. Like I say, it is hard. It's just come out of the fridge. Been in a little while actually because I ran over at work a bit. Try and keep it. I'm just trying to warm it up slightly with my hands. This makes it easier to roll. So I'm not going to use all of this pastry today because I'm going to do something else with it over the weekend but just enough for mine and Ian's tea tonight that's all I'm going to be doing with it gonna keep it roughly in the right in the right angle there we go Thank you. 
So the more times you fold, the more layers you get. So that's why I thought, right, rather than just wait until I'm going to use it, I'll do one more fold. There we go. And so into the middle like that. Into the middle like that. Squaring it off. I put it back in the fridge, I'll clean up and then we'll start with today's recipe. Right, so what we're going to do is, is we are going to do um, a goat cheese and caramelised onion tart. So I've got some onions here, I've got a few shallots that need using up, so I might as well use those as well. We have the goat cheese there, and for the caramelised onions I am going to put some balsamic vinegar in there and also a bit of brown sugar just to caramelise them off. I've got a bit of parmesan to go on the top and we'll have that with a rocket, I love rocket, and peppery and some tomatoes as well, salad on the side. So come on let's get on with it. Hi right, guys so I've just got some butter, it's really soft, that'll go into the pan. And I'll also put in a little bit of oil. And this is just ordinary, about three or four squirts, ordinary olive oil, not extra virgin. And there's the shallots I've peeled, but I'm actually going to put the, the ordinary onions in first. Just going to slice them. Oh, bit doesn't want to come out. I'm not going to chop them or anything like that. <clears throat> now these will take quite a while. So anybody that says they can do caramelised onions in about 10-15 minutes are lying to you. But there's not a little bit of dark in the middle there. Get rid of that. Um, I've seen another bit. I'm sure I did. Up oh, there. It's a little bit that's not quite right in the middle. Right, so I want to get these ones in. I'll chop up the rest and then we'll come back to you. Right, so I've just got all of my onions in the pot there with the butter and the little bit of oil. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put a bit of salt in because that does draw out uh, the sugars as well. I'm wary of this now after what happened the other day. There we go. And I've also got a dessert spoonful of sugar, which just went all over the place. And that will also help with caramelisation. Do you know, I was just thinking there, I could have had this on, these on and being done while I was doing the pastry this afternoon. What a numpty. Right, now let them cook down. And we'll come back periodically and let you have a look and see how they're doing. So it is 10 past five now. We'll come back maybe at 5.30. Right guys, so I need some time out of the garden. I thought I'd show you my garden. Excuse the mess, that needs the recycling to go in there. So this is a tiny little garden which is mainly gravel. I do have a few plants down the side. That's a bay tree. Had this for years now. And this is my herb garden. So there's the time that I need. Right, so just excuse this. It's got some of the time out. And I do have that mint just coming back up now. Obviously rosemary. The parsley that's actually in the ground that was just a plant from Aldi and this is lemon verbena beautiful very lemony they are brilliant in cocktails so that's my little herb garden there so I always feel like I sound like I'm getting stuff out of the garden but as you can see how we do have here which I have got a few seeds in the jalapeno seeds and some garlic so we'll just get back in so then I'm starting to 
come down a little bit now. Here's the thyme from the garden. It has been washed. That's why it's in the colander. It's a bit woody at the moment. Um, just take even the little flowers. Oh, taste. Gorgeous. So, yeah, all of them plants that I've got out there were all supermarket plants. Because if you go to a garden centre to buy them, they cost a fortune. So, all I do is... Here we go. Then we'll all break up. Let's get the plants from the, the supermarket. Get them into slightly bigger pots, then bigger pots until they're established. And um, then I put the did put the parsley in the ground and that came brilliant. But obviously, you know, with the winter time it's gone down. Right, again, we'll come back in about 10 minutes and I'll put the shallots in which I've already um I'll have already cut them up here. So all right guys so that's been going for about 15 minutes now so I'm just gonna put the shallots in let them start to to cook down as well it smells lovely what with the butter and the thyme so give them about 10 minutes and then I'm going to put the balsamic vinegar in and let them reduce right down, caramelise. Right guys, so it has been another 10 minutes since I put the shallots in and you can see now they are starting to break down really nicely but they're not ready yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the balsamic in. So we'll put the sugar in. I'm going to put the balsamic in, so that'll be like a sweet and sour type thing. I'm going to do a, a tablespoon. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. There we go. Right. I want to put it in now because I don't want to put it in at the last minute because it'll be harsh on you. So I want it to, to meld in with the onions with the thyme and the sugar, the butter and everything. So, another 10 minutes, we'll come back to you. Right, so, them are now done. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let them um, cool off, just for a little while, while I sit and watch TV for a bit. I've been doing in between doing all of this anyway. That's so I'm just gonna let them cool down nicely. I might put them in a bowl, let them cool down. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean I could go further, but they are gonna go in the oven with the pastry. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that as that, and then we'll come back to you when we're gonna be assembling the tarts. Right guys, so it is time to do the tarts. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut about a third off. Look at all of them layers in there. Can you see that? That's what we've been doing all afternoon. I'm only doing a one little tart each for me and Ian. So it's the little one that I'm going to use. I have saved some flour there. Look at them layers. Absolutely amazing. Just a little bit of effort. Just gonna... I've got the oven on. It's already ready. <laughs> Might bring that down a little bit. Should have done that before I put the camera on, really, shouldn't I? Like I say, I'm just going to do a little tart each. And then we'll have that with a bit of salad. I love this mind, I must admit, I really do. Oh. Here we go. Try and keep it a 
into a bit of an, an oblong shape. What I'll do is, is I'll actually, um, once I get it to the right thickness, I will trim it, which I think is there now. I'll use my butter knife because I don't really want to use a sharp knife. I will put that in with the other and I'm putting back in the fridge. go oh stuck a little bit need a little bit more flour See where it's stuck, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Just gonna give it another little. Oh, there we go. And put that over to there. Again, butter knife. All the way down the middle. Pop them on here. And we use that because on a butter knife you've got a sharp side and a dull side. So on the dull side, I'm just going to go around like this. Didn't do that very well, did I? There we go. That's better. score it. I've done the same again, just on this side. There we go. Just gonna dock this bit. And I do have an egg yolk, just the the yolk. I want to go on the outside. I find it easier to do it this way before you put your ingredients on. There we go. And this one. You can do them a much bigger one than this you can do the full thing it, you can make a big massive one like that if you've got a few people coming around but this is just something we wanted something a little bit lighter today because obviously you know we've been on holiday with and where we were if, a lot of people are saying, well, why are you in eating the English food while you're on holiday? Basically, because that's all it was. Right. We've got the caramelised onions. They were done for nearly 45 minutes. Put them on here. Now, make sure that you have plenty of these. It's like sweet and sour onions. Go. Try to keep it in the lines, but make sure that there's plenty on there. And this one. And I know for a fact that Ian tomorrow will probably have a ham sandwich with these onions on the top of them.
Right, just gonna pop them to one side for a second. <coughs> get this out. And I am going to go and get the goat's cheese. Right, so I've got the goat's cheese here. Now, I prefer the one without the rind on for this. But if you like the rind, then you absolutely get whatever it is that makes you happy. So this is the goat's cheese there. Nice little round of it. So a little taste. Mm. And if you don't like goat's cheese, then get whatever it is, whatever cheese that you like. A bit of brie would be nice. Camembert. There we go. I'm just going to pop this on here. I will show you because I know it's probably out of view. And I'm dropping it everywhere. use one of these full rounds for this do I put this on or is this chef's perk nah I'll put it on sorry cook's perk I'm no way in the other chef but that's what they see on the telly isn't it Sorry guys, I am licking fingers. I know this still looks messy, but I want to get these in the oven. So that's what I've got. Four rounds on each and all of the, the little bits that was on the knife. Got a little bit more time. Just to go on the top there. Use the thyme flowers, they're just as tasty. All right. And now what I want on here is a little bit of black pepper. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a nice little sprinkling of parmesan all over. Now I don't know about you, but that looks absolutely amazing. Right, so into the oven, I would say probably about 15, 20 minutes. Onions are all done. We need to cook the pastry. That sh the end bit should pop up, uh, puff up, and have all the cheese to melt. So we'll see you in about fifteen minutes. All right, guys. The alarm's going off. So let's have a little look. Has my puff pastry worked? I had that on at one eighty. And that's been on for about 15 minutes and look at the layers. Nice and crispy. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> A little look. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is you can see all of the layers all the way around. You can oh smell this absolutely amazing see all the layers I'm just gonna twist it round for you let you have a look look at all them layers that we've done today absolutely beautiful and that's all butter puff pastry so what I want to do is I'm gonna let them go to room temperature because I think it'll probably eat better that way and we're gonna have that with a bit of salad Right, so Ian's due in in about 15 minutes. 
so that'll be probably just about ready for him coming in oh look at that so i'd had to poke it yeah lovely right we'll see you shortly right ian's home now so tarts are just at room temperature so i'm just going to do a few little tomatoes can't beat a tart <laughs> just a few little tomatoes I'm not keen, so I'm not going to have any, but I will have some rocket. I love this stuff. Rocket. If you're poor. Some rocket. Oh, rocket. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Absolutely stop it. So there's. Wow, that looks good. That does look good. Here we go. Let me get a shot for the thumbnail. Let me get one of these. Look at that beauty. Wowzers. That looks good. Tell me that doesn't look good. You yes. can see all of the layers. You can so actually. So every, every single fold that we've done today, you can see every single one. Oof. So that was clever? really... Wait, no, it's not clever. It's dead easy, to be honest. You ju it takes a lot of time. I've never made puff pastry. But you can... I've seen it done, but I've never made it. Uh, it looks so hard, but it's not. Lovely, Gabby. Right, so you want some salad cream on your salad, yeah? I do. Right. Just... We've had this for ages, haven't we? Actually, yeah. do you know what it is? Bit of salad cream. I'm going to have some and all. Lovely, right, lovely, lovely. so... There we go. That's our Friday night tea. It's a caramelised onion and goat cheese tart with homemade puff pastry. And a salad. And a bit of salad. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Can't go wrong, right? I'll give it a go then. Hey up. Betty's back again. It's Friday meat. Right, let's tuck it into this baby. Oh, you heard that. Look at that. Let's have a look at that. You're never going to get that in your gob. You want to bet? No. <laughs> you want to bet? Okay. See, I told you. Hmm? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow. I think that's the first time I've, in the ten, all oh. the time that we've been together, that I've made homemade puff pastry. That is bang. Because normally, that pastry is before we started doing this, I would always cook, but I would never take the time to do it. But really, it hasn't been that much time. The thing is, yeah, it, it probably is a bit of a faff to make, isn't it? It takes a couple of hours, but for most of the so time, most people, most of the time, you're not doing anything. And I said, ninety-nine point nine percent of the population will just buy it, as I have done before. Oh, uh, if you could get, I must admit, and I'll hold my hands up now, if we could get where we live in our little village, what? all butter puff pastry, what? I would buy it and not. That with the make goat's cheese it. and the. I mean, I love caramelised onions. I mm. love goat's cheese. It's just but perfect. most of the puff pastry that we get is made with vegetable oil. That is perfect. You can taste the butter. Mm -hmm. And it's yummy. Right, let's try a little bit of this salad. I know it's only salad, but a bit of rocket. Salad cream. And salad cream. Not had salad cream for a long time. Oh. That's like the perfect light. Mm-hmm. Tea. Yeah. Not too heavy. Just perfect. Goes down well with uh, a couple of beers. Yes. <laughs> right, well thanks for watching guys. Yeah, thank you very much for I know it's been a little bit painstaking today and I do appreciate if you've made it to the end. Mm -hmm. But I hope that you have watched all the way through and realised how easy it is that to is do so it. Good. It is time consuming but it's easy. And if you really want it, if you can't get all but a puff pastry where you live like we can't, 
then please give it a go because go. it is absolutely worth it. Bang it. Right, well, we'll see you later, guys. We're going to enjoy the rest of our Friday night. And it'll be me tomorrow. And enjoy whatever you're going to do for the weekend. If you're mm -hmm. working, you know, I hope it goes fast for you. If you're off, I hope it goes slow for you. Please, please like, um, share, so, subscribe, comment. Yes. Both our channels, it really helps. Yeah, we we'll love it. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. So we will see you very soon. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.